Hello everyone! Now for this video, it's going to be a little bit special because with the help of Crazy Aries, we're going to actually be able to showcase something really, really awesome and I'm super happy to showcase this. So prepare yourself because... Crazy Aries was actually able to do a custom sparking bay, custom ring and a custom chip, and I really love it. I actually did want to have sort of just different 3D print like just with the sparking system because I just thought it would be cool, and he managed uh, to do it. I didn't even ask. Uh, he did it out of the kindness of his heart, so I really do appreciate it. But with that being said, you got to check out Crazy Aries and support him because that is like the only way I can pay back. I asked if there's anything, so please just support his channel and show him some love, please. He's a talented uh, 3D printing uh, VTuber. He does good stuff and support him. So the chip, I believe he just labeled uh, Zanki. I was just going to label it something like Z Powers or something. I, don't know. I, thought, I thought it sounded cool. I'm probably going to get picked on just for thinking about it. The chip perfectly fine stand your chip there's no chip core needed i'm not going to do anything extra on the thing it's going to be standard that's how we do it now for the ring the ring is really interesting the shape sort of reminds me of what it be and don't worry colors are temporary by the way for this video i think when i do the next video i might uh, change uh, uh, change it up for colors used and everything but uh ring is really nice just to show it off because i actually do want to show it it reminds me a lot of uh, 1B for the shape, obviously, because if you look at it, it is close to 1B. Well, the closest thing I can think of, it has some nice little edges here. And you can see on each edge a little big point, which I think is super cool. So the thing is, this does not have a name. No, what I thought would be fun was that since I think I would consider this to be a pretty huge thing, I'm going to let the comments decide on what we're going to name this ring. Now, first of all, Whoever, whoever is the like sort of name for the ring that I really like, uh, I will pick it. And on the next video, whenever I manage to get around to doing it, I will pick that name. And at the start of the video, I'll say so and so created the name. We're gonna use that for so on. So shout out to whatever, and we'll go through it like that. So that's why I'm trying to just hold off on doing anything crazy. But uh, I do want to obviously showcase this uh, for some battles. So we got the ring, which is about 7.7. .7 the chip which is 2.63 2a i just love using 2a so yeah the combined weight is about 61.1 uh, the tip we're going to be using is actually the hyperion tip i was going to use uh i was going to use hold dash i thought hold dash would be pretty cool but then after i realized since hyperion's tip is just going to get upgraded i will just go with uh, that Obviously, Hyperion's tip is about like 6.05. Okay, we have the stadium set up, so we're gonna do a test launch. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah, look at it go. It's already smashing the walls. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna kill all the bays. So as it's spinning, I'm just going to adjust it again. I want to get a better shot of the thing, that way if it smacks down any bays, we can uh, get a better look at it. Ah, maybe not like that, maybe not like that. There we go. Yeah, plus, like, uh, for the main one that I've been using for videos, I think I had Wheel Universe, so this is, like, a good thing to contrast with, so I can have, like, one that's just, like, specifically attack. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good when it spins. Plus, like, the red too looks really nice because uh, these rubber blades that are exposed on uh, the thing are really going to be cool uh, in battle. It's just going to make good impact on the thing. Because I, wa I was thinking of 2B, but because of how 2B is in everything, there was a little bit of a gap on the thing with how it went on the ring. So I was like, nah, I won't use uh, 2B. Now, I think the first bay that we need to go off against, the first bay to verify 
if this bait can even be considered, is Glide Ragnarok. All right, so far, so good. It kind of gave a good uh, smack in the glide, but we're gonna do another one. All right, so we gave a good smacking to the glide. So uh, this bay has now been verified to uh, be uh, very good on it. No, I'm just kidding. No, I always do a test run with glide just because glide is the easiest bay to go up against uh, without this, uh, without any risks or anything. No offense to glide. Next up is gonna be King Helios, right? We gotta put it up against the king. It's actually gonna be real. I'm actually really curious on this one. Okay, that, okay, that points Helios. And this combo I think is uh, pretty fair. I do like using the exceed tip, and I do like 2A. So I think it's a good combination uh, for the two. That was, uh, that was payback as it seems. However, we're tied now, all right? We're tied, so it's not gonna be that easy. It's not gonna be that easy, but we gotta get to the next round. Okay, well, attack types itself KO, you know, the usual. All right, let's uh, let's. Okay, fine. We'll say it's we'll say it's one two. It's gonna be like this internal conflict of where it's just gonna be like, I'm gonna KO myself, and then after it's not gonna KO. Yeah. It's like a conflict between it. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Just gonna do a normal launch. We got the rubber blades kind of smacking it down. So I think this combo is pretty effective and I like it. It works, it just works. Plus, it won. Plus I can eventually do the upgrade video when Exceed and Zone's attachments uh, eventually come out. All right, let's do, I'm gonna get, ooh, Lucifer, okay, perfect. Well, let's go up against, let's go up against Lucifer. Let's see, let's see if I'm a worthy opponent for lane. All right, well, I mean, that, uh, that that works out. Let's do another. Yeah, gives a good smack into most of these bays. Okay, let's do death. Okay, so it basically just uh, obliterated uh, death diabolos. Yeah, so this thing gives a good hit. It actually gives good pushback and everything. Uh, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to put it against every single day because I actually want to save that for a video. So what I think I'm going to do is that we're still going to continue. So I'm going to get Brave. I'll get Rage. And I think we'll just go with that. And if you want to see like a full video of me going over all the Super King Bays, uh, you know, I can do it and uh, it'll be fun but yeah overall i think the performance is there like it's it's doing good it's doing good i'm really curious to see how it's going to go against some other bays and i'll do full sessions uh, uh i guess maybe if the video hits like a thousand thousand likes we'll continue and we'll do full round sessions okay tempest okay, so i think that's uh, pretty fair to say that the bay probably got it let's do it again Okay, beating temp is not really too much of a feat for a double chassis bay. Okay, so let's just do our uh, next battle. So we'll do, we're gonna do one round against uh, Brave Valkyrie. Let's uh, see how it does against uh, Brave. Let's see how it does against Brave right now. Can we say not to Brave? All right, I guess that's gonna be uh, the sequel 
where if uh, we can stand up to Brave. Okay, our last one. I'll only do one round. All or nothing is against Rage. Wait, no! Can't wait. Can't do that. What? Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's all right. It's all right. So I think that's where we're gonna end it off. So overall, for performance and everything, it was really, really good. And uh, let me hold it like uh, this. And I can't wait to do uh, more in the. Let me get a little closer. More in the the future. So definitely stay tuned uh, for more videos. It's gonna be really exciting. Uh, I'm really excited to do more videos and just try this out. Let me know your thoughts on the combo. Obviously we got the whole name thing going on, but uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please check out Crazy Aries and show him some support. Show his channel some love. That will be greatly appreciated. And I just wanna say thank you all for watching. Have an awesome, amazing day.